this has never happened to me before. This was crazy. So the other morning, I was out walking with Dakota, and I noticed a cow was behaving strangely in the corner of the field. So I told Dakota to, to sit and to stay at a distance because I knew that dogs can upset li livestock, especially if the, the animal is already in distress. And I went slightly closer in order to, to take a video for the local farmer. I was just watching her and taking the video. And then she started coming a bit closer and she was stumbling and it's almost like she was drunk and she really wasn't well. As I've got about five years of working with, with cows and with livestock, I'm pretty comfortable around them. And I've never, ever been in this situation before. It was just crazy. All right, girl. Go, 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 go. Despite her not being very well, she still managed to connect with me pretty good. Um, I managed to slip to the side slightly so it wasn't a, a full-on hit, but she still got me pretty good. My main concern was I just wanted to stay on my feet because you hear of people being trampled and I just didn't want to be underneath a, an animal that big and that heavy. Station, go! Go! My first kind of thought was basically to get out of the way, but then I saw that she'd gone straight through me and was heading straight for the dog who was still sat there because she's been taught to sit and stay. Fortunately, all that happened was it bent my phone case and hurt my thumb a bit, but um, really it was absolutely fine. It wasn't too big a deal. I was so happy that I didn't have any of the children with me or with Tamsin with me because it could have been a completely different story. Uh, the moral of the story is run, learn to run faster. I don't know, know what the moral is. <laughs> you can't. Uh, yeah, I mean, if a cow is ill, just stay well clear of it. Um, I mean, I, I thought I was well clear, but clearly not clear enough.